pulling up to the guy now. There's this, there's this red truck right there. You see, that's a nice Ford. I guess that's a 350 or F250. I don't know. But it's got some nice wheels on it too. F150. Morning. The other side. Yeah. All right, that's pretty good without me saying anything. All right, hold on one second. Tilted more to the left. To the left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you want to go over and catch that mark. Yep. I'm straight down. Nah, you good on that side. There you go. Just like that. Never start in the middle of the glass. You, you forgot to turn when you got to that corner. Yeah. And could bring it straight down. You got it too much on it. There, there you go, triangle. And just slide right over. There you go. Start turning it and bring it. There you go. Bring it straight down. Now, now repeat that same process on that triangle. There you go. Don't go all the way over. Just stay in front of the water line. There you go. I think you like that way better. Yeah, it kind of feels better. It's easier for you. Yeah. Come straight over. Boom. Damn. Look at him go. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah, doggy. There you go. Down on your last pull. There you go. Tap it. Stick it up there. And then come straight down. There you go. Perfect. See, you didn't butcher the windows up. So that's probably a better way. Yeah. All right. There you go. Perfect. Too much of a triangle. There you go. There you go. Well, with that particular one, you don't have to just go above the water line. Okay. That way you're not getting dry glass. You can start a little bit underneath of it. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. But just keep the same angle. You see how you're hitting dry glass? Yeah. If you, if you want to get some more water on the squeegee, tap in the center part where the water is. There you go. And then make your next pull. That way you'll get some more uh, on the rubber. Yeah, see, you're too high up, but that's okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I dropped my worker off. 
Okay, so here's the story. He did okay, but uh, he's just not picking up the technique. He's not retaining what I've taught him. And I have to keep repeating this uh, something a couple times, but that's okay because not everybody learns quick. So uh, he'll get it eventually. He's he, he understands to a certain extent. But he's got to get used to knowing when he makes those mistakes, as I kept pointing out on those garage doors. Now, we worked a total of four hours. Now, it normally takes me 35 minutes by myself to do five guys. And we were there an hour and 20 minutes. And I actually helped clean the, the most of the inside. He didn't do nothing on the inside. He did everything on the outside. And I wasn't really concerned about the time, but I'm just getting, showing you how efficient someone could be when you're training them and how you need to not have a full day and be stressed out because the day will go by slow, for sure. So you don't want to put too much on your plate. So. When I get to the Firestone, it normally takes me an hour to an hour and 20 minutes, depending on how I move. And some shops might have a little bit more glass or an extra garage door. Instead of six, they might have seven on one side, you know? So, and I helped him. So if I didn't help him, he would have been there a lot longer, but it took two hours and 40 minutes to do the Firestone. See the big difference in time on a job? Now, if I didn't do it myself, it would have took him three hours and 30 minutes, give or take a few. Because, and the windows, mind you, didn't come out politically correct. So not only would he have spent four or five hours if I told him he had to correct his own mistakes. He would have had to go over a lot of windows. You feel me? So part of the training process is to put them on jobs where no one's really going to complain so much. So you're not spending too much time on that same job. You know what I mean? He gets to get the feel of cleaning different glasses. You know, now he's got a whole nother ball game when it comes time for the sun to be shining and he finds out the windows are drying up too fast on him. So I wanted to train him on a day where he didn't have to fight with it drying up and concentrate more on technique. So on days like today also, you eliminate that issue of the sun because you got other elements working against you here. You know, and he says, man, if anyone says window cleaning is easy, I, I, I have to tell them to think differently. Yeah, there's a lot of thinking involved, man. People don't think of that stuff. It's a technique for windows to come out flawless. And if, and if you're not a common sense person, you're not going to be able to grasp the concept of learning how to clean a window or even the desire to want to learn. You know, some people might be book smart, but they don't have common sense to know how to clean a window properly, which is one of the easiest things to do, but one of the easiest things to mess up too, you know, because you gotta have the right technique and you gotta have patience. And it's, that's something people don't wanna have when it comes to windows. So they'd rather not be bothered with it. This is why they pay us the big bucks, right? They pay us the big bucks to come in and save the day and let the sun shine in. But this is Masters at Work, and I'll see you in the next one.